Welcome everyone to Northgard here on Additional Pylons Games. Today we're going to be playing Northgard. Northgard is a new uh, real-time strategy game, RTS game. It's Viking themed. It's a lot of fun. It's a great game. Everything is, uh, it's a procedurally generated map and uh, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun, quick, it's a very intense real-time strategy game. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I like to play on hard. Uh, we've gone with the name Canute. Sounds like a good, sounds like a good Viking name, right? A little bit different. Not like your typical Ragnar and Bjarn and and whatever kind of. But Canute sounds like a good Viking name. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna hit OK. And right now there are four different clans so far in the game. There's a fifth one planned. My favorite though is definitely the clan of the Stag, uh, Ichthyr. Clan of the Stag, proud of their legacy of astonishing achievements, renowned for their honorable and regal manner, and as for their harsh justice and unyielding strength, valuing wealth and fame, highly ambitious, highly ambitious expansionist. So that you get extra resources to start off with, and we can produce fame at our uh, Hall of Skulls. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So the. Uh, so this is a, an alpha version or beta version. I'm, I can't remember which at this point, but um, it's it's a lot of fun. So this game is a little bit reminiscent of Settlers, the Settlers series. It's also a little reminiscent of uh, Age of Empires is one of the other games that the developers said have uh, that they've kind of drawn inspiration from. So you'll see maybe some elements of both of those, those games as well as some other RTSs here in the game. So we can see we kind of get this, uh, I don't know, this cliffside starting area so we're going to build a scouting camp and a house to begin with uh the reason we do that yeah scouting camp we need to scout out these other territories these other areas on the map let's go ahead and get two scouts as well i like to scout very quickly and very efficiently to begin with i need to know where i'm expanding where i'm moving to uh if you've never seen north guard well you'll be you should check out my uh check out my guide series on this it'll be coming out here pretty pretty quickly alongside the uh the rest of these this match actually but so we've got these so obviously we've got our population that we need to keep an eye out for we've got a bunch of other stuff to keep track of as well and this is an amazing tile this has got to be one of the best tiles i've seen in a long time so we're going to go ahead and colonize this that's a good one right there all right let's go ahead and get our scout scouting over there and this scout hurry up and get over here and we need to build a woodcutter's lodge. That's the next thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started so that we can produce some wood. And we're actually not able to uh, produce any of the other major buildings until we get a woodcutter's lodge down, because otherwise we might run out of wood. So we can't colonize these other areas just yet because we've got wolves here, and uh, this is another decent tile, I guess. Okay, so let's see what's on the other side of this tile. Wow, okay, sheep. We got four sheep that they're a valuable resource as well come on scout hurry it up let's go let's go there's always more to do in north guard never a break never a dull moment it's a quick pace game uh let's go ahead and hmm well next thing let's go ahead and get a farm going here you sir build a farm we've got our wood going as well so we could colonize this next area as well, but I'm thinking that we're going to save the food because we might be on a little bit of a food deficit to begin with. Uh, but this tile is excellent because it's got a source of fish, which is a great source of food for the winter. It's also got a uh, farm, which is a great source of food uh, for the rest of the year as well. We've got enough room, just enough room to build a, uh, what's it called, a silo here as well. And then we've got a rune stone to get us some lore, or it's basically the... Uh, science or teching up portion of north guard so we've got a rainy rainy part of the year right now all right and then once this farm is done we're going to assign a couple farmers to it actually let's get the info tab up there we go you farm you farm as well all right we've got is that a no okay so scout that out there let's take a look at our other scout okay so this area does not end but it looks like it might continue along the coast actually so good to know but you can see we're in the positive now so farming is much more profitable than just foraging let's go ahead and get you on the wood duty as well and then let's get you over here to build a fisherman's hut so we're gonna have this tile is gonna be probably our most valuable tile honestly 
because uh, just the raw food production is going to be off the charts. We're going to have a farm, we're going to have fish, and then we'll put a uh, granary in there as well. The granary will actually increase the amount of food that we get from. Uh, what, what are you doing, Mr. Scout? Miss Scout? We need to see farther along this shoreline. See what there is to see. Um, got some iron and a forest there, which will come in very handy. And I think that once we discover this plot, we'll bring one, that one scout back. Okay. Ahoy. Gonna keep scouting around this edge here. And you, sir, fisherman. We should have... Alright. So we've got a number of resources to keep track of. Food, wood, gold. We've got stone and ore. Stone is used to upgrade your buildings. Ore is used to upgrade tools for your different uh, types of villagers. And then... Food obviously keeps you alive. Wood for buildings, gold for upkeep, and happiness is another big thing. You gotta keep your, you gotta keep your uh, peeps happy. All right, Everybody, we're under attack. So we've got some wolves coming in from the outside. So let's group up, take care of them real quick, and everyone back to work. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we've also there's a number of different victory conditions, domination which is basically just taking out the other clans, defeating their uh, town center. You've got, also got Fane, which is basically uh, what the Elk, uh, Erkthenir, are more specialized towards, but that doesn't mean you necessarily have to. I'm gonna go ahead and explore one more tile to see if this, this area ends. I figured, I thought that this would be the last part of this little loop, but it looks like it's not. So maybe it ends here. Actually, it probably doesn't, now that I think about it. So let's, let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's bring you back. We need you to come back in. We're good for scouting for now. There are other things we need to be doing with that scout. All right, you can move there. And we've got enough food for a feast. So I'm gonna hold off on that for just now though. Let's go ahead and get a food silo. Food silo will improve our food creation here in this area, which is very valuable. Get another, get the scout to be a worker. Actually, let's get you on the runestone. So, because of this amazing food tile we've got here, we're actually to, able to attribute more of our villagers to begin with to, uh, to other tasks. So, we can have two woodcutters right now. We can have, let's go ahead and colonize this area right here. Uh, we're going to need this area for us to expand out to. This has another food source, our hunting for hunting. And uh, we need this other area so that we can build another house. We're almost done on our population right now. All right, you come on down. And build us a new house. There we go. Mr. S scout. Get you scouting that other area up here. So one of the new unique things about Northgard is that every match as of right now is the map is procedurally generated. Uh, which is both an amazing asset and also a little annoying at times. So let's go for trading because we are negative in the uh, gold department, which is never good. Full up there, full up there. All right. The next thing that we need to do is build a training camp to get ourselves some warriors. Uh, for that, we're going to need some more wood, though. So we're kind of waiting on wood at the moment. Okay. Our scout was hurt. Let's take a look here, Lord. Okay, we have medicine. So we're gonna build a healer's hut here as well. That's another That's another thing to do. So you're good for now. We could do a feast, but I'm thinking that we'll save our feast until after winter. So another thing that we've got going on here is that we've got the, the cycle of the seasons. And during winter, our um, food production is halved and then our uh, wood use is doubled, actually. Let's get you in here to help out. Actually, you're probably good. So, wolves attacking obviously is a little bit of a nuisance as of right now. Get you in here to build a training camp. So, I'm thinking that we've got wolves here. Uh, we're going to take this tile next, actually. These sheep are going to be very valuable to us. Uh, sheep are valuable because what they do is, one, you can slaughter them for food if you get desperate. Uh, what do we want to take this? Um, no, I think we're, yeah, we're going to take this tile next. We're going to expand down this way. 
Um, we want to get to this forest and this iron. Okay. Yeah. So, um, like I was saying, you've got, um, we're going to expand out this way. Sheep, basically what they do is they allow you to, um, if you have a sheep, just a single sheep in a region, it will reduce the need for wood by 20% for all the villagers in that region. So that's a good wood savings. Warriors, let's get you guys in here. And normally you don't want to attack during the winter just because your units have 20% reduced attack strength outside of your home areas, any colonized areas during the winter, but it's just one more, so we should be okay. Unfortunately, one thing that I forgot is that we're, if we have too many people wounded, uh, we're going to be unhappy, and that is not good. But, alright. Bring a sheep here, this sheep can come into this area, and you can see that our wood usage went from minus three to plus four. And so we'll have one. Okay. We'll keep a second one here, because there's nobody in that area right now. Uh, we are not good on... Uh, we're kind of good on happiness. Let's go ahead and go for sharp axes. Let's get that resource production going early on. Wood is kind of a limiting factor at the moment. So, and speaking of, let's go ahead and build ourselves a uh, healer's hut. So we're positive on wood, so we can do that. I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. Um, hmm. yeah, we're, we're All right. All right, once that scout is done, we'll bring the scout back and actually trade the scout, scout out for another person. And, ooh, you can just see in the shadow here, we've got the, uh, the sword of, it's, it's just basically the sword of the gods. Um, that's a, that's a neat little, neat little area for us. All right. You heal. And scout heal. The other thing you can see in the shadows here, we've got the Jotnar, the uh, giants that are right there. And so we can actually, once we discover them, we can trade with them. Which will all all come in handy too. All right. So we can develop this area to increase it by increase its building size by for 100 gold. But for now, we're okay. These guys healing. Who are they healing? They're healing a warrior. All right, so you can see we've got minus happiness from having too many wounded. So we're taking care of that with our healers. And then once the healers are done with that, well, we'll be out of winter by then. One of the other things we're going to start doing, though, is build. we'll build a watchtower here. Um, we'll probably colonize this area. Does this have fish? No. Uh, that's not good. It'd be better if the fish were on this tile, but yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll take this area next. So let's get ready to do that. We definitely want to get ourselves into a position where we can... Well, we want to take out this, this wolf here before another wolf spawns. Because as the game goes on... Uh, got another wolf wolf attacking here so it's a good thing we've got our uh, healers going but this is gonna 120 food dang it okay we need more food more food from uh, we should be getting a lot of food actually yeah. okay I don't do this often let's go ahead and slaughter one sheep doing that so that we can colonize this area and the reason I'm doing that is because we need this stone that stone is gonna be very valuable to us if we want to um, if we want to be able to upgrade upgrade our buildings so let's get you in there start building that and then once you've got all the healing stuff done then we'll go ahead and turn one healer into a scout that can scout out these ruins and get ourselves some more, uh, get 
ourselves some. Uh, there will be gold and lore in there. Let's do mining efficiency so that we get so that we get as much ore out of this uh, stone pile as possible. job. Your job is mining. Alright. So we've got a wolf that sauntered in here from this area. Let's take him out. There we go. Don't want to lose this territory. Don't want to lose any territory. Uh, eventually we were, are going to have to take out this wolf sanctuary. And this wolf den. Sanctuary. It's not a sanctuary. We're going to take it out. Uh, actually, I said we were going to go down this way. But I'm thinking that instead we'll go here and here. This will give us a nice continuous front, and this gets us a forest and ore, and it has less wolves, actually. And chances are, you're not gonna have, or there's gonna be less competition for those territories down here than there is for the territories up front. Let's go ahead and... Next villager is up. Let's get you. Okay, let's get you scouting. You guys are healing the healer. The healer can heal himself. So let's get you. Let's get you doing food because we're minus on food right now, which is not good. Actually, what we're going to do is build a hunting lodge. Hunting lodge, go! Bring you down as well, and we'll have two new hunters. Alright, these guys are already a Thane. That means that they've got to uh, 200 Thane already. That's okay. The We're on hard, so the uh, AI enemies get a little bit of a bonus when it comes to resource production and that sort of thing. We can see our first opponent right here, Red. Seems to be taken... Seems to be coming from the north area, which is fine. Fine for now. We'll see in a moment. Alright, healer is done. So let's get that healer working on food as well. Food is what we need. Eventually we're going to upgrade the town center. That's our first big upgrade. So let's get our villagers in there to hunt. So, any of the uh, food professions, so fishing, farming, hunting, uh, produce more food than just your base foraging, which is why we why we prioritize that. You can still have villagers that forage. It's, you know, they'll make food for your, for your colony as they go. And actually, we're almost good on upgrading here. We just need one more stone. And amazingly, we're at zero on the uh, upkeep. All right, so there we go. Alright, we've got fame. Uh, let's go for... Ooh. No, we want to go for Iridition. Iridition will increase our uh, lore production. Let's get you to discover the Yognar, and then we can start trading with them when we need to start trading, which will probably build the trading stuff right here. And you can see that we've got a second wolf that spawned here because we're getting far enough in the game that the game decided to do that for us. Um, Jogger Invasion. Let's go ahead and organize a feast. So feasts increase your happiness. They also increase your production on everything. Um, so they're a good way to give yourself a good boost. Uh, they also give you 20 fame, which is a nice, nice little bonus. And what we're trying to do is push ourselves up to 200 fame. 200 fame gets us 150 food, wood, and gold, and gets us 10 stone as well. That's our bonus as the stags. Clan. Territory is under attack. That is bad. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on additional pylons games.